Disney certainly has a way of kindling romance. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Disney Channel stars you forgot dated each other. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking back into past relationships within the House of Mouse that may have slipped your mind. Number 10. Sabrina Carpenter and Bradley Stephen Perry That's when I brought the hammer down. This is the hammer. These are the nails. <laughs> when they first saw these stars together, fans of their respective Disney shows nearly lost their minds. The Good Luck Charlie actor and Girl Meets World actress claimed to be just friends at first. A suitcase? Where are we going? Somewhere? Nowhere. I'm your present. I'm with you for the holidays. Yes! What? But with all of the time they spent together, as evidenced on Instagram, it was obvious that something more was going on. And in 2015, the pair finally announced their relationship publicly. Unfortunately, amidst cryptic tweets from both stars, it was only a few months before they broke it off. Though neither have officially said why the breakup occurred, rumors have stated that Carpenter's smoke and fire is about their relationship. Number 9. Olivia Holt and Luke Benward We're rehearsing after school. So bye if you want. Wouldn't miss it. This relationship blossomed right before our eyes. Olivia Holt and Luke Benward met on the set of the 2012 TV movie, Girl vs. Monster, and the chemistry between them was instantly palpable. Close your mouth now, baby, don't say a word, cause you ain't saying nothing I ain't already heard. Later that same year, Luke confirmed that the two were dating during a Skype interview, and through Instagram and Snapchat photos, we all caught glimpses of their happy life together. Though the two have sadly separated as a couple since their first hello, they've remained friends, sending public and adorably sweet messages to each other. Who says you can't be on good terms with your ex? You don't have to try too hard. You already have my heart. Number 8. Greg Sulkin and Bella Thorne Also, um, I hate to be a little tattletale, but James thinks that you're poor, sick, doggy is but ugly. <laughs> From Maud's son to Tana Mojo to Scott Disick, Bella Thorne has been all over the map when it comes to her relationships. But from 2015 to 2016, she settled into a seemingly perfect one with Greg Sulkin. Alex, I'm starting to get a little worried and embarrassed rooting for you. <laughs> but you, you're still my number one. After the whole Disick fiasco, they were spotted together again, although according to Bella, they're just good friends. In fact, Greg has been there for Bella through most of her public trials. And though it hasn't seemed to work out for them romantically, the pair have made it clear that they'll always be in each other's lives. After all, they do have a pact to marry each other if things don't work out with other people. Number 7. Bridget Mendler and Shane Harper Time for another Good Luck Charlie romance, and yet more breakup songs. For the four years that Bridget Mendler and Shane Harper dated, their relationship seemed incredibly sweet, at least from their adorable photos together. According to Bridget, their romance took time to kindle, as she first saw Shane as too boisterous and herself as too good. But yeah, so two years later, we were just in the same friend group for a while, and he wore me down, man. Really? He just yeah. Per persistent? Yeah, persistence, which I think chivalry should never die. But once they hit it off, they were Disney Channel's cutest couple. Honestly, four years is a long time in young Hollywood, so when the couple inevitably did break up in 2015, that devastation must have been intense. And we all felt it too when both artists put out songs about their perspectives on the breakup. Number 6. Joe Jonas and Demi Lovato From the moment the Jonas Brothers stepped onto the scene, every Disney fangirl wanted a piece of them. But Demi Lovato was lucky enough to be one of the first to actually kiss Joe Jonas, at least on screen. According to Demi, she first fell for Joe during filming of Camp Rock. So in 2010, when they finally became a couple in the wake of Camp Rock 2, we can only imagine how excited Lovato was to be with her longtime crush. Although the relationship only lasted a short time, and it was pretty rocky, they're still on good terms to this day. So come on, open up the door. 
Number five, Dove Cameron and Ryan McCartan. Check this out. Centerpiece, table six. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Disney sure does have a way of bringing people together. Dove Cameron and Ryan McCartan met and fell in love on the set of Live and Maddie. <laughs> it's nice to hear you laugh again. <laughs> yeah, you too. Fans went wild, watching their relationship not only blossom in the show between their characters Maddie and Diggy, but in real life as well. The pair even formed a band together called The Girl and the Dreamcatcher. For his 1,000th Instagram post in April 2016, McCartan announced their engagement, but the pair suddenly split just six months down the track. A few years and some shade on social media later, both seem to have moved on, which from the sound of things might have been for the best anyway. I am having so much fun up in this piece! Oh, not as much fun as I'm having up in this piece! <laughs> Number four, Ali Mashaka and Ricky Ullman. The results are in for yearbook voting. May I have the envelope, please? Like so many on this list, these two former lovebirds met on set. Phil of the Future was a well-liked show with a fun premise, starring a young Ricky and Allie as a will-they-won't-they -they couple who were also best friends. Cutest couple, Keely Tesla and Phil Diffie. What the? Behind the scenes, however, the pair were most definitely together. But what makes this couple so particularly interesting and honestly amazing is that for all six years of their relationship, no one could confirm that they were dating. I think we're supposed to hug or kiss or something. <laughs> sure, it added to their on-screen chemistry, but it wasn't until after they broke up that anyone really knew for sure. That's pretty impressive if you ask us. I didn't want to leave without saying goodbye for real. Then, uh... Good. Number three, Brenda Song and Joe Jonas. You're not dumb. You're just really intense, which is sad for you, but lucky for us because we get great songs out of it. Breakups, even mutual ones, can be hard on anyone's heart. And so, after ending a nine month relationship with Camilla Bell, we imagine Joe Jonas's heart was in need of some tender love and care. And it seems that he might have found it with fellow Disney star Brenda Song, albeit for a very brief time. First, you handcuff me, <laughs> and now you're gonna hold me underwater? <laughs> they were only ever spotted together on one night out in August 2009, but in an interview, Joe alluded to the fact that he and another Disney star were sneaking off to her car during shooting for the TV show Jonas, and rumor favors Brenda as the mystery woman. Thank you for not giving up on me, and for tying my shoes. <laughs> Number two, Demi Lovato and Cody Lindley. Wow. <laughs> Good luck trying to find a spotlight big enough for the both of you. Sometimes the only thing left over from a relationship is the hilarity and embarrassment of that first date. For Demi and Cody, this seems to be true. Now look, I know my coming here may be a distraction, since I am, well, you know, a superstar, and Tween Magazine's Hottie of the Year. <gasps> I've written the cover! Though their relationship didn't last long, Cody remembers their first date vividly, as, quote, the most up and down night of his life. It seems that the young star had car trouble and arrived at Demi's house two hours late, and eventually had to pull over to try and fix it again on the way back from dinner. Little Miss Hannah Montana can't handle it, but it's all about Jake Ryan. According to an interview with Cody, Demi was very sweet about the situation, but that's one heck of a first impression. Number one. Miley Cyrus and Nick Jonas. We're such big fans. We love your music. You're pretty. <laughs> Despite their purity rings, the Jonas Brothers definitely got around the Disney studio lot, particularly Nick Jonas, back in 2007 and 2008. You're Nick, the cute, sensitive one. <laughs> According to Nick's BFF Demi Lovato, the indecisive star was at the center of a love triangle between Miley Cyrus and Selena Gomez. So take me back to this, to your dating Joe, <laughs> Nick, you're dating <laughs> seemingly everyone. Yep. And then who else? Miley. And then Miley back Cyrus. with Selena. Thank you, Demi. But and then back this? with Miley. <laughs> Both handled the situation a little differently, with Selena stating at the time that she'd been burned, but later that Nick still had a place in her heart. Meanwhile, Cyrus took to the airwaves, writing seven things about the youngest brother. And Nick recently admitted that Wedding Bells is all about Miley. Well, that's one way to keep a relationship alive long after you've both moved on. To this 
Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.